If you're into sports betting, Bet Online is where you should go to win money today. Whether it's live bets during games or futures for who you think will win the championship, Bet Online has all the latest odds, news, and information for all your online sports betting needs. Visit the website today or use your mobile device to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. So before the next big game, head on over to Bet Online and start playing today. Bet Online, your online sportsbook experts. Hey guys, welcome back to my podcast. I'm your host, Polina Edmonds, and today on the pod, I'm going to be covering the second Junior Grand Prix of Courcheval that happened this past weekend. It's the second Junior Grand Prix of the season, so amazing to watch. Courcheval is so beautiful, high altitude at 6,000 feet, really difficult to compete there. Um, Again, analyzing the top six ladies at this event and going to give you my thoughts on each of them in a second, but first just wanted to give a little highlight on the national high performance development camp that just happened also this past week in nashville tennessee i was so happy to be there working with a lot of young skaters it's so awesome to have this camp for them something i definitely wish i had when i was a young skater so it's awesome that this was created i really love teaching spins to everyone and giving talks to all of the skaters so good to see a lot of familiar faces and catch up with so many people from u.s figure skating so amazing yeah, let's get right to it. So we'll start with number six. We have Nina Pinzarona from Belgium. So for her short program, she had a very nice short program, a good clean skate complete with a triple let's triple toe. She nailed her jumps with sureness. She's very solid, but she could work on the quality and flow throughout her landings instead of just landing in one spot. I like this program in music a lot but I think she's a little young for the words of the music. She needs to connect with the story um, of the movie, of the music, and project that. And I think it's a little early for her at this age for sentimental and romantic music. She could use more pauses in her choreography and really take her time with every accent and stretch rather than just rushing through the movements. Working on the overall character of this piece and bringing emotion to her skate is what can push her further up, but again, I don't think she should rush in developing that artistry. She's really young, and picking the right music for your age is really important. Her final Bielman, amazing. She has a lot of potential. For the free skate, I also really liked it. Really, really like her skating. She has great posture, great lines, beautiful movement ability, very graceful. She does get a little sloppy in the air positioning of her jumps in her technique as she goes through her program. Her jumps get a little loose in the air. She needs to tighten up and make sure her landings are sharp and have energy. She lost a little stamina by the end of her program, understandably, in this altitude. So I'm really eager to watch her compete at another Junior Grand Prix or competition with less altitude to see what she's fully capable of. Overall, a really great skater with lots of potential. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on her. Next, we have Ah Sun Yoon from South Korea. So for her short program, good to see her again this week. This is her second Junior Grand Prix um, in a row. So it's actually very difficult to compete two weekends in a row. Um, So props for her on that. The adrenaline that you feel at the first week is going to be way different than the second week. So... For any skater, you you know you want to time like when you peak very well. We all have ups and downs. Uh, really hard to do two weekends in a row at the top of your game. So, the opening pop on her flip was definitely a bummer, but she recovered and absolutely nailed her triple let's triple toe combo. The ice coverage on her combo was stellar. That triple toe moved across the ice. Good performance in this program. I think she looked a little more polished this week. She can still work on her posture and lines in this program, really needs to work on her softness. For her free skate, she had a pretty good skate. She hung on to her opening combo. It was unbalanced, but she still landed that triple toe on the end of it. Uh, And that really shows her fighting character, which is what we need to see in athletes. She got the job done. This program is a really good vehicle for her to explore character. 
She could work on the power of her landings, bring energy to the final moment to really emphasize her quality. Needs to be mindful of posture in this dress. Keeping her back arched and arms well-placed is going to be key for her. I'd like to see her turn her knee out as well when she grabs her blade for her hair cutter position. But good job for the second week. Next we have Sia Yeon Ji from South Korea. So also the second week competing for her, her adrenaline not quite going to be the same as last week. She had some mistakes on her jumps in the short. She needs to be clean to really excel. I did think the overall skating quality was better this week, though. I felt like she was projecting more emotion this time and really trying to perform her program, especially at the end, whereas last week it seemed more like she was just going through the motions. She needs to pay attention to her edges on the jumps, not get sloppy with that. Her free skate... So awesome to see a clean program for her here in her second week. Her opening triple let's triple toe was awesome. Great flow and execution throughout the whole jump. She does need to watch her flip edge. It seems to swing slightly outside. Her jumps were all executed well. Her program was performed with full energy too. Really impressive at this altitude. Her first double axle. She needs to have clean edges in her transitions to really show her skating skills. I thought she skated with more freedom this week. She wasn't as tight as last week. Maybe she was a little more nervous with that extra adrenaline. Um, So yeah, great job here. Looked to use more facial expressions and was really performing. Program really suits her. Good job. Next, we have Kaya Ryder from Canada. So also her second week in a row of competing. For her short program, I, again, love her classic style. Really nice to see her again this week. She landed everything, uh, but she needs to be tighter on all of her jumps and really make sure she lands clean. She has a great athletic style, nice presentation, but she does need a little bit more softness in her arm movement sometimes, but she has great coverage of ice. Her edges on her jumps are pretty jerky, so she needs to really stay calm and be very careful as she goes through her jumps. The smile on her face as she skates brings me so much joy. Love it. She has great connection with the audience, really pulls them in in her skating. I thought she had a better posture this week with keeping her shoulders down. Overall, a really good job hanging in there for the short program in her second week. Uh, Something to improve her hair cutter position could be better uh, with keeping her leg a little bit closer to her other leg and her back actually bending down. The flying sit also needs more height, so she has enough time to fully bring her leg all the way up before she lands. For her free skate, again, a pretty good skate. I really love this program for her. She does an excellent job of portraying story and connecting with the music. The opening of her program, she really knows how to use pauses and take her time on her choreography. It looks amazing. Her jumps need to be tighter once again. She lands with her hip open, which makes it harder to flow as she lands. She needs to watch her Lutz edge. It's inside it, especially at the end of her program when she's tired. I love her footwork once again. The change in emotion you feel from her during that final stretch of her program goes with the music, and it's just really great to see a young skater demonstrating that emotional range. At the end of her program when she's tired is when she really needs to work on keeping her shoulders down and arching her back. That flying sit position needs a better tuck as well. The position was questionable for me. But overall, great job performing for the second week in a row. So I don't know if you've heard, but apparently former NBA player Lamar Odom may be returning to professional basketball in Spain soon. I was reading a press release about how he started taking a pH balancing alkaline supplement called Balance 7, and that's what has helped him bounce back from his hospitalization in 2015. He even said, I have an enormous amount of energy, which is good for me. It's important when working out. I always need energy to level up. Couldn't agree with that more, Lamar. After watching him fight Aaron Carter in July's celebrity boxing match, I think it's safe to say that Balance 7 is working for him. Cool thing is, we've got a promotion running with Balance 7 right now, where if you go to their website, balance7.com, and use the code BELIEVE at checkout, you'll receive a free 4-ounce bottle of My Smooth Skin with any purchase of Balance 7 products. That product retails at $13.99, so I'd say it's worth it. Again, head to balance7.com and use the code BELIEVE at checkout and get in on the promotion. I know I will. If it works for him, it can work for you too. Next, we have Chayon Kim 
from South Korea. So she had a good, clean program. I thought her jumps looked good. She could be a little sharper with a quick checkout on her landings to really dazzle. But pretty good jumps overall. It's a fine program for her. She needs to work on connecting more to the music and the audience when she skates. One thing she can do to improve is really pay more attention to her feet. She's turned them in sometimes. It's, she has unpointed toes, which brings a sort of sloppiness to her skating. So in order to polish herself, she needs to point her toes always and bring more energy through her foot, through her toes, rather than just letting the energy stop at her ankles. Her Lutz has a very clear outside edge, so great technique there. She covers the ice well and is very powerful. Her layback could have a little straighter leg on the standing leg for a more aesthetic position, um, and I would like to see more like solid, strong edges in the step sequence as well. Really great free skate. I like her dress a lot. The slits that go down her sleeves were beautiful. She really needs to bring more energy to her landings. Her landings are short. She drops the energy and thus the quality of the jump is sacrificed. Being sharper with her feet and holding her landings a little longer will bring a huge addition of quality to her jumps. She needs to also watch her flip edge. It looked to be borderline outside in this program. She has one triple triple, so to be more competitive, she's going to need to add another one. Her hair cutter needs some work on the aesthetic positioning. She needs to arch her back to her foot rather than just bring her foot to her head. There were a lot of hand movements as well in this program, and I think she should tone it down a little bit for more calming feeling to it and hold her positions. She could also work on more connection with the audience in this program. Performance is something to build on every single competition, so I'm excited to see her progress this season. And our final gold medalist, Isabel Levito from the USA. So for this short program, she is just darling. She's a beautiful little skater, great lines, very lyrical and balletic style on the ice. It's a great program for her. Ballet really suits her. I would like her to take her time with her movements a little bit more, though. She gets a little bit choppy sometimes, and I think she needs to hold some of those movements longer. I'd also like to see her arch her lower back a little bit more for that really nice balletic positioning. Her transitions and choreography looked great, though. Aesthetic movements. She landed all her jumps, uh, but she really needs to correct her edge technique on both flip and lutz. She's leaning outside with too high of a free leg on her flip, which kind of destroys the line of flow for this jump. So that's something she should work on. For the Lutz, it's insided right now, and she really needs to correct that. She also needs to not break in line in her upper body in between the two jumps of her combo. Her back bends forward pretty dramatically after the Lutz, which causes the flow to stop, and she needs to work on landing with her back upright and keeping her bottom underneath her rather than sticking it out. This is going to help with the ease of the combo and the flow of the overall jump. She has great spins. That layback to Bielman at the end of the program was stunning. 70 points for this program is a little high in my opinion compared with the rest of the girls in her group and the Junior Grand Prix from last week. Uh, she has a lot of corrections to make on her technique, but you know, her free skate, another program that's right up her alley. Great job skating clean here in Courcheval. Two triple-triple combos in the middle of her program well done. I loved the opening double axel that really screamed quality to me with nice flow, but the rest of her jumps, she really needs to work on the ease of the takeoff and landings. She bends her back forward on both the takeoffs and the landings, keeping herself straighter and just using her legs to jump rather than her upper body will bring more flow to her jumps. Right now, she's just landing in one spot. Same correction as her short, her edges on her flip and lutz really need to be watched. Great spins. I particularly loved the inside edge donut. That is a very difficult and very beautiful position. I also liked the footwork at, at the end a lot. There's a lot of character included in the choreography of it, and it just really painted a great picture on the ice. Overall, two great performances here by Isabeau. The points, again, are a little high in comparison with her group and last week's girls. Understandably a different panel, but at the end of the day, the quality of elements needs to be on the same level for all judges and officials, in my opinion. Um, but great, great job. Great start to her Junior Grand Prix career. She really needs to carry that momentum to her next Junior Grand Prix and make the final. Very excited to watch her this season.
Okay, and then I have an, a couple more extra highlights. So, of course, want to highlight our other USA girl, Josephine Lee. I really, really like her. She has beautiful posture, very graceful skating. She has wide emotional range. It was nice to see her really trying to express character and perform to the audience, especially during her step sequences. She needs to skate clean, though. The pop on her opening combo in the short, as well as another pop in the long, is something that she can't afford to do. Mental strength is very important for her to drill in at this age. Her jumps look pretty good otherwise. She needs to work on the sureness and stability of her jumps, that power. I do think she also needs to work a little bit more on natural emotion when she skates. Um, I notice she opens her mouth a lot in more of a fake show of emotion for me, and she doesn't need to overdo it like that I think you know if you watch ballet and you watch a professional dancer you won't really see a pro ballerina doing that emotion really comes from facially connecting with your body movement so something that she can grow and develop in she's just a delight to watch though her performance qualities are already awesome so I'm very excited to watch her progress I also want to give a shout out to my Estonian girl Nina Petrikina such a great athlete to work with when I was in Estonia last month, so it was awesome to watch her compete on the Junior Grand Prix stage. She has amazing transitions in her program. Her choreography has amazing pauses, and she skates so beautifully with such intention. She's so powerful. She takes great command of the ice when she skates. Her jumps are powerful as well. Great triple-triple. Very strong. She does need to work on keeping her concentration throughout the program, though. Popping is something to train out of your system. With the powerful skating, she also needs to keep finding breaks and breathing moments in her program to save energy and sustain the entire program. Her long had a lot of mistakes, understandably, with altitude, so she needs to take her time and not rush through her jumps. But... Really, she's a girl that can definitely be on the podium with two strong skates. I think she has the best choreography of all of the girls and is such a strong competitor if she can pull it all together. So I'm really excited to see her develop. Overall, for the second Junior Grand Prix, I do think a lot of the girls have really weak flying sits, which is a required element in the short program this year. Nobody is really hitting a perfect sit-spin position in the air at 90 degrees, for me, in any of their flying sits, I wouldn't count a lot of them, honestly. So that's something that they all need to improve. A lot of skaters also have questionable edges on their triple flips and triple lutzes. You know, for me, that's not a mistake. That is not actually having the element. So going into a triple lutz entrance and having an inside edge is actually a flip. It's not a lutz. The entrance does not make the jump in my opinion so that's definitely something I think they all need to be very very mindful of and fix while they're juniors and not bring it to the senior stage I feel like this junior grand prix also had higher points than last week's junior grand prix obviously there's different panels but I think that the judging panels need to be more consistent in their scoring and values of skating quality overall really exciting junior grand prix to watch Great job to all the ladies, and I'm really excited to watch next week's Junior Grand Prix. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Please leave me a comment, leave me a review. I love hearing what you guys have to say. Follow me on my Instagram. That's where I'm promoting this. My username is at Paulina Edmonds. And please DM me if you have any requests for my podcast, any interview requests, or if you yourself would like to come on, you have a fun skating story that you'd like to share. I'm always looking for new voices to feature, so please reach out to me. And stay tuned for my future podcast episodes I release every Tuesday, and I can't wait to talk to you guys next week.